We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those. Something big about to happen. I hear the beat tapping. We some fly rum and felines rapping on the track. Better yet, grab a gat, cause we hot like. Enzo, doors closed, windows up, cause that's the way we like to ride. Windy City hitting. Check mic 1212. We live, baby. What's up, Chicago, and welcome to Speak Your Mind Radio Podcast, episode 476. I'm your hostess with the mostess, Queen Star, a.k.a. Miss Hip Hop, and it's currently 7.23 a.m., January 5th, 2024, Friday. Happy Blessed New Year, everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's the first episode of the year. I'm totally excited. Um... And today's program, I want to talk about the female MC um, who was brand new to me because I just found her. But Rhapsody and her hit single, Asteroids. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay. I literally stumbled upon this joint while searching for Beyonce's lyrics to my house. And boom. Boom. Rhapsody pops up, so I instantly click on the link, you know, and then I see the lyrics to Asteroids. Now, my first impression was straight bars from bars, meaning that's straight poetry, you know, because I listen to Tupac, so I know what poetry is, you know. Um, she starts off introducing herself um, by her first and last name, Marlena Evans, you know. As if she's uh, totally independent and knows her way around the microphone like a pro. Now, take it, granted, this is my first time listening to her. So just, you know, this is my authentic opinion about what I've heard. Now, I'm literally reading her lyrics before I even listen to the song to Asteroids, you know. Now, her, her pen game is immaculate, you know what I'm saying? She should be studied straight up. Rhapsody definitely has lyrics that could be broken down as both male and female type energy. What I mean by that? Okay, this is her line in the song Asteroids. I ain't no millionaire. I ain't no bitch. Real niggas don't shoot. They talk with their fist. That line definitely took me back to 1995 movie Friday, which today is Friday. You know, when that fight scene broke out between Craig and Debo. <laughs> and then Chris Tucker's character came around the corner and yelled his famous line. You got knocked the fuck out, man. <laughs> Give me my goddamn money. <laughs> yes, that was like the best scene ever. And Rhapsody captured, captured that perfectly, in my opinion. Now, Rhapsody is definitely underrated to me. Um... She raps hard with a message. She says it in her song, Asteroids. She goes, how am I underpaid when a motherfucker like me is nice like this? Period. That's what I'm talking about, girl. How is you underpaid and you nice like this on a microphone? That's crazy to me. You know, I like, I like said, it just, you know, like I said earlier, y'all, it just found me. This song literally just found me asteroids like Neo in the Matrix sitting at my computer. You know what I'm saying? And it's so strange because when I clicked on the video to asteroids, she was the one in the video literally like Neo answering the phone call, a.k.a. the calling to continue her higher purpose and collect the mass of people who are also in tuned to her flow of the evolution of hip hop in 2024. Oh, that was deep because that's what it meant to me to find this artist Rhapsody. So in the song Asteroids, Rhapsody talks about like how folks were disingenuine to her way of her rapping. And she goes in Asteroids, y'all threw some rocks at me. I threw back Asteroids. Shit is crazy because Rhapsody is making major moves with Asteroids. Walking with, um, I mean, working with, like, 
you know, the words that she tells us a story with. You know what I'm saying? She's basically, in the song, Asteroids, Rhapsody is telling us not to hide your light. Let it shine so bright that you blind your haters and they drown in the pitfall of their own despair. Yeah, that's that rap shit for the culture, period. So after all that, y'all, I did a little bit digging because, you know what I'm saying? How did Rhapsody fly past me? Like, I haven't heard her music before. This is my first time listening to her. Asteroids by Rhapsody. Turns out she's been rhyming since she, since way before Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. I know y'all remember that. Her debut album, The Idea of Beautiful in 2012, um, which XXL Magazine notated, it might just be one of the best hip hop debuts of late. Meaning it must be one of the best debut albums from a, a, a rap star uh, as of recently, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go listen to that album so I can check out, you know, her um, her musical style, you know? Because this is just one song. Rhapsody has worked with some of the the industry's biggest artists like Erica Badu with the mixtapes, Busta Rhymes, and even the late and great Mac Miller. Rest in peace, boy. Asteroids was produced by Hit Boy and was released November 2nd, 2023. Yeah. I am late, aren't I, guys? It's okay. Now, Rhapsody grew up in North Carolina. I heard she wasn't, like, really around much hip-hop back, back then, you know, um, you know, when she was a kid, but more so developed her style in college, which most of us did, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, your 20s, period, you feel me? Um, there's a ton of information about this artist online, y'all, and this is why I chose to do this music review, because I am a student of music, you know, therefore, I am always learning, so I share with others who love to learn, too, you know? Um, this young lady, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go crazy studying her because she's literally one of them female rappers that, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I, look, I would look up to. Like, girl, yes, period. Like, what is we talking about today? What kind of story is we going to uh, drag across this, uh, this track to make people think? You know what I'm saying? Rhapsody is holding it down literally for the female and the male culture of hip-hop, I promise you. You know what I'm saying? I literally feel bad for not just finding her, but like I said, if you go back and watch the 90s, The Matrix movie, literally, the messages, when The Matrix is trying to get to you, they find you in synchronicities and numbers and, um, you know what I'm saying, just different ways of how, of how the universe interacts through us. You know what I'm saying? Because we are the co-creators. And she jumped on that. She's like, I'm a co-creator. I'm going to make myself famous. I, I'm going to get up here. I'm going to do these lyrics. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to attract my tribe. And I'm going to keep on, keep on pushing on, period. And that's how Rhapsody is born in my earth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for listening. You know what I'm saying? When I when I come across some new stuff, I want to share it with y'all straight up. All right. I love you so much. It's Miss Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? Episode 476. Make sure you get that Spotify account so you can listen to Asteroids by Rhapsody.